and I get in and it's My like this ears. old man and he turns to us and he's like, do you guys like Rod Wave? <laughs> the rapper. And this man is old. And like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was so weird. And I was yeah. like, yeah, I like him. And he's like, I'm going to play my music. Tana Mojo is known for her crazy story times that sound straight out of a movie. Her stories are so crazy that many even doubt if they are real in the first place. A recent story that she told on her podcast called Cancelled is now going viral because Tana claimed her life was in danger. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into all the details. On Tana's new podcast called Cancelled, Canceled, hosted by herself along with her best friends, Hunter Moreno and Brooke Schofield, the trio talked about their daily lives along with pop culture topics. In her most recent episode called Hunter's Crazy Ex Made Tana Mad, Tana tells her friends about a recent lift she took with her on and off again boyfriend Chris Miles, where she thought her life was in danger. She starts off saying she was very intoxicated and they were coming home from a late night out partying. So as Tana normally does, she called a rideshare app to take her home, specifically a lift. When they first got in the car, the vibes with the driver were already kind of strange. Apparently he was older and he was telling them about an artist that they hadn't heard of before. So the man starts playing some music, you know, no big deal. Then Tana tried to put her window down but it was locked, so she asked for it to be unlocked. And after he ignored her multiple times, he finally lets her roll down the window. But at this point the vibes with the ride were very off. So she decided to start staring at him through the rear view mirror, which is I guess obviously very strange as well. And he could tell this was happening so he decided to stare stare back. There was obviously a lot of strange tension between the pair that was worse when Tana realized that she was able to see his phone screen as well. It was basically propped up in a holder so she could see that someone was asking the man where he was and he said he was with two people so he would be there soon. But after some texting, the Lyft driver decided that he was going to go to this mystery location right now, saying that he was going to bring the two people in the car with him, aka Tana and Chris. After this, Tana wasn't sure what to do so she decides to just wait it out and see what happens. Happens. And it's clear from the lift map that the driver is now going the wrong way. Tana can also see the man trying to end the ride, which makes Tana particularly nervous because she knows that if he's trying to do something dangerous to them, he wants it on record that they left the car before something happened. You know, that's why you'd end the ride. After the man made multiple wrong turns, Tana decided to say something. And when he missed the turn for the freeway, Tana said, quote, Sir, right here. And when he missed the turn again, she said, quote, Excuse me, sir, where are you going? Apparently, then the man texted the person person that he was talking to saying that he was almost at this mystery location. So Tana decides this is when they need to leave the car. So while the driver is driving, Tana decided to get out of the moving car to stay safe and leave the situation. Tana then says that she's used to leaving cars like that when she feels uncomfortable and she has walked out of many Ubers while they were still moving because she thought she was in a bad situation. Then her friends on the podcast commented that they thought she was over exaggerating or just incredibly drunk because she called both of them while she was in this lift, but Tana was too scared to say anything, so Hunter just thought that she was being annoying and he didn't take her seriously. But sadly, Tana actually left her purse in that man's car in the heat of the moment while trying to leave, so her friend Brooke contacted the driver the day after to try and get Tana's bag back. And while she was having a conversation about the bag with the driver, the driver Brooke was texting with was getting really creepy and ended up sending Brooke a photo of him and another woman shirtless in bed. After this, Tana's friends realized that he was really creepy and Tana was probably not over exaggerating when she said she thought her life was in danger. And if you subscribe to Tana on YouTube, this is one of many ride sharing stories that she has posted to the internet. And it seems like she has the worst luck possible when it comes to Ubers and Lyfts. Let me know below what you think of her story. Firstly, do you even believe it? And let me know if you have any stories of crazy times that you had in an Uber in the comments below. I don't think I have any times where I like had to leave or I felt really, really scared about anything, thank God, but I really don't take that many like Ubers or Lyfts. I really try to avoid it when possible just because they're so expensive now. But again, leave all your thoughts below. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you want to see more. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media and I'll catch you all in the next one. <laughs> I know everyone's like, how? Pizza? Pizza's my religion. No, I really don't like it that much. Literally.